Howdy folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, the Mighty Bjorn, and please bear with me. This is another typical off-the-cuff video that I would normally do, um, and I really haven't had a whole ton of time to prepare for this video. Um, sometimes I get to put a little bit of thought of what I'm going to say, um, or maybe what direction I'm going to go here. I really don't have that here because essentially my direction of where I'm going to go kind of was put together about two minutes ago. It's been another pretty busy weekend for me, but welcome folks to another Bjorn's Mighty Thoughts video, and today I'm going to talk about uh, the upcoming announcement and possibly upcoming Mafia Trilogy pack that's going to be coming soon. Apparently there's a lot of talk about a uh, completely remake, remaster of Mafia 1. Great game. Uh, I've actually been thinking about rebuying the game. Uh, for my PC because I have it but I have it on disc from like you know back in like 2005 when Mafia was brand new um, they're also a part of this they're going to be remastering and reworking Mafia 2 which just came out in 2010 um, of course that's aged it's you know it's 10 years old now the game still doesn't you know, I've looked at photos and screenshots and footage of Mafia 2 and honestly, to me, the game for being 2010 really doesn't look that bad. I mean, it, it looks aged, but it, it doesn't look horrible. And then Mafia 3, which I actually had just stuck my neck out and bought recently, finally got around to buying Mafia 3 and trying out Mafia 3. I got a review going up on my YouTube channel about Mafia 3, but all I'm going to say right now is I greatly enjoyed the game and I do recommend it. More details when my Mafia 3 review comes is posted on my YouTube. But anyway, like, so I hear about this news about a remake, remaster for the Mafia trilogy. It's like, well, okay, well, Mafia 3 is not really that old. And if anything, it just really needs some bug fixes because honestly, the way the game plays, the way it, everything works, the story, it's not really a bad game. If anything, it just needs some fixes Maybe a little bit of spin polish to update the graphics, but, you know, how much can you really update the graphics considering the game's only four years old? There hasn't, to me, looking around at different video games, there really hasn't been a major graphics growth boom, however you want to put it, development in four years. Now, when you go back to look at Mafia, the first Mafia game, um, yeah, I mean, there's there's been a hell of a lot of graphic changes there's control changes features all kinds of new stuff there's been a hell of a lot of development since the first mafia game which in my opinion was towards the tail end of the golden age of gaming um it was it was probably uh, final fantasy 7 you can consider some parts of final fantasy 7 as an open world game but honestly this was mafia was the very first major open world game from the moment you get out the gate it's open world um and it was completely different for me uh even though i had played gta previously but games like that gta you kind of had to do things missions in that to open up other sections where yeah you can pretty well just hop in a car and go wherever the hell you want to in, in the first mafia game it was it was different um and there's a lot of things that made the game very immersive, very entertaining, and it just it made it so different from any other game that had been around since then. Um, I'm going to show some screenshots here of different things I saw. I mean, the graphics, you know, these are screenshots from Mafia, the the Mafia remaster, um, or at least from what I seen from the Mafia remaster, and these the screens just look amazing. Honestly, the, the graphics look amazing compared to what they used to look like. Um, I kind of dropped the ball. I should have got some old screenshots of Mafia so you could have a benchmark um, of what, what it used to look like. You know, 2005, there might not be a whole lot of current gamers out there that's actually ever played the original Mafia game. I don't know. Um, but, you know... And obviously, Mafia 2 is a part of it. Um, 
they didn't really I didn't really see a whole lot with Mafia 2, although I did see like I said I did see some spit and polish on the graphics, but it didn't look like it, it didn't look like a major graphic change compared to Mafia 1 2005 compared to Mafia 2020. Um so I didn't really grab a screenshot of that. Uh and that's the same way with with Mafia 3. It's not that old of a game. They did show a uh, they did show a slight clip, a short clip in the video from Mafia 3 uh, as part of the remastered trilogy thing that they're doing. Um, I, I could barely tell a difference, to be honest. I mean, I could tell a difference, but I could barely tell the difference. That's just, honestly, to me, how minor the graphics change was. Uh, but yeah, there was a slight change. I'm not going to lie there. However, all that being said, looking at this, uh, I, I'm starting to raise concerns here. Now, we know the gaming industry has been pretty well on a deep dive about money and everything else. Uh, it, it's been more and more of a money grab. And to me, the current, you know, we're, we're starting to get a landscape here where previously doing remastered games and things like that, it would happen but not very often. And just within the past year, we got Resident Evil 2 remake. We got the Resident Evil 3 remake. And then we got the Final Fantasy 7 remake. Now that's two different major developers that have done remakes, let alone one developer had done two remakes in the past year. And it kind of makes me sit back and think, are we so money hungry now? The game developers are so money hungry now that they're not worried about bringing out new content. They're worried about remastering games and uh, essentially flooding the market with DLCs. You got stores that have microtransactions for AAA titles the day they're released. Um, some of these games, I, I actually recently seen video of a game. I'm not going to say its title because I honestly don't remember the title. The game looked very lackluster, but literally it had micro transactions when the game was an alpha and no folks, this isn't fallout 76. I, I know people are going to be thinking fallout 76. No, it's not fallout 76, but the fact is it, it, it's another you know, the microtransactions are flooding the market and it's getting the amount of microtransactions are getting ridiculous, um, especially on AAA titles where you're spending 50, 60, 70, even higher amounts of money for these games. You know, because if some people are stupid and they're willing to spend, you know, 140 or 200 dollars or whatever the fuck on a limited collector's edition that might come with a, a piece of ass wiping paper that says call of duty on it or whatever the fuck are, are coming in these limited edition bundles. I don't pay attention to. I remember the one for fallout 76 was like, it was supposed to be a canvas duffel bag, but it, it wasn't canvas. It was nylon rip. Um, and it was like a powered, uh, I think it was a T 51 B powered armor helmet and, all this other crap, a map of the world that <gasps> glows in the dark. And it probably didn't glow in the dark anyway, but who knows? You know, it's Bethesda. They're greedy fucks. Um, but I mean, I, I'm actually at the impasse now of I'm actually every few months. I, I look at something that is happening in the gaming market and I get more and more concerned with the direction the gaming market is going and the direction gaming is going. I mean, I play a lot of video games. I do a lot of streaming. Even when I'm not streaming, I'm playing video games as, as a way to relax. Uh, I do a lot of videos for YouTube that involve video games, uh, you know, different types of history videos and commentary videos and everything else that involves video games. Hell, there's this video here. This involves video games. And basically all I'm seeing is remakes, and D and microtransactions. If it, it kind of feels bad, man, it really does. It's got me concerned. What happened to the day when new ideas was actually approved of, and they, the gaming industry tried new things, 
Now they're just worried about checking boxes, it feels like. Do we have a micro do we have a microtransaction store from day one? Check. Do we have bugs? Check. Do we have really good graphics? Check. Are we gonna make people pay out the ass for this game? Check. Okay, we got it all filled out. Send it out. You know, fuck the fact the game works or anything else. But anyway, folks, that's just some thoughts about thoughts and concerns about the Mafia remake. Uh, there are supposed to be more announcements uh, on the 19th. So two days from now, folks, or actually one day from when this video will actually go live. But anyway, folks, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, just kind of, I don't know, venting some steam, blowing some thoughts, whatever the fuck. Anyway, folks, have yourself a good week, and hopefully I'll see you again for the next video.